Hello, my name is Visor, and welcome to episode 2 of my Bully Let's Play. This is the second day of school, and it's going to be a good day. I can feel it. Let's talk with some of our fellow students. Starting with this guy from the Nerd Click. Hi. You cool? Did I tell you how I really admire your personality? We gained some respect with the Nerd Click yesterday, and we're fairly friendly at the moment. When interacting with others, you can either do a positive response or a negative response. I've been using positive responses because negative responses are basically insults and a good way to start a fight. Using a positive response toward a clique that doesn't like you at the moment will also get you a negative response. And since this jock is being aggressive, I can always apologize and hopefully he won't beat me up. And now he wants me to give him money, and I could do it, but that isn't the type of kid Jimmy is, so that's not happening. Anyway, we'll just run away because no one really can cast Jimmy. We're going to go to the left of the classrooms, which is where the library is, as well as our next mission. So let's see what that's about. Ew. Oh, so you're the new kid, huh? Everyone is talking about you. Oh, are they? And what are they saying? Uh, nothing. Just that you're friends with that sociopath Gary. Socio what? Sociopath. It means... Never mind. Forget I said anything. I need you to help me. Wait. You need me to help you? I've got some library books that need to be returned, but I'm too scared to go to my locker. Do I look like a librarian? No, listen. I need your help. Pretend we're friends. Walk with me. I'll pay... <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. No. Two bucks? Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Remember when you were younger and like five bucks was a lot of money? And if you had 20 bucks, holy crap, you were rich, right? At least that's what middle school was like for me. I've been thinking a lot about snails recently. They're slimy. That's nice, Algy. Let's get going. Slow. Do you really have to pee when you get nervous? I get nervous a lot. You probably sell diapers in your size. Oh, here comes the first bully. Let's keep going. I just love it when someone okay, beats up someone who isn't me. Let's go. I just love it when there we go. We knocked him out, so he really can't call for backup. I'm scared. Will you please stand watch? Last time I went in there, they made me eat a urinal puck. Oh. Don't worry, Algy. Jimmy will make sure you don't eat another urinal cake. Let's prepare a little something extra for them. Right over here. Oh, oh one of them got free. Let's put him in. You're ugly. There we go. Now we don't have to fight that guy. We'll just fight this other one. I just love it when someone beats up someone who isn't me. I just love it when someone... And there we go. Problem solved. Let's go, Algy. Snails recently. They're slimy. I really don't care about the snails, Algy. Anyway, we're gonna head inside into the classrooms. myself once this month. If I do it again, they'll never let me hear the end of it. That's probably true. We gotta move it, though. Because technically, I'm committing truancy at the moment, and the prefix will fuck me. Ah, uh, there we go. He's trying to bust me. Son of a bitch. I need to lose him real quick before we can help Algy. Nice. He's all tired now, and we can keep going. Come on, Algy. We need to get you in the bathroom. <laughs> Me and I'll show you. Oh, who's in there? Oh, it looks like we ruined their experimentation. Oh, it's those bullies from outside again. Well, since we're already in the bathroom, we might as well use the environment, right? Come on, buddy. We're going to a stall. Actually, wait, since this guy has more health and I put him in the trash can outside, let's do it to him instead. There we go. That's one of them. There it goes down the other one. Since we're already here, we might as well take a piss. Business well concluded. Mommy told me to always wash my hands. I feel much better now. Good for you, Algie. We need to get going though. Let's get you to your locker. 
Here it is. Thanks, Jimmy. Here's the cash. I'll tell my mom that not everyone at Bullworth is mean. Nice. Five bucks and a little more nerd respect. We lost a little bully respect, but who cares? They already hate us. Job well done. Now, you might have noticed that these lockers have little icons under them. The blue icon means you can hide in the locker. Like so. The idiots will never find me. It's very much like hiding in a trash can. But if you look around, you also notice that some lockers have red icons. I'm in love with that means these lockers are locked and have something inside for you to steal. So we can just pick the lock. Now, I don't know about your school, but these are pretty much the same type of locks as my old high school. You get three numbers. You turn to the right for the first one. Turn to the left for the second one. Turn to the right again to unlock it. But that, of course, is a rule violation. And that's why this prefect is trying to bust me. And why I've just crushed his nuts. Now, we could try apologizing to the prefect, but it's actually just a lot easier to run away. We're gonna run to the boys' dorm, because they won't chase us in there, which is kind of weird. As you can see, we have a shortcut through the fence now. Damn it, Russell, I don't have time for this. Anyway, let's get in. Looks like Petey wants us to do a little errand for him. Okay, Jimmy. Here's the plan. You can tell that someone wants you to run an errand when they run up to you and have that blue arrow on their head. You can also see them on your mini-map as a blue X. Okay, thanks. Alright, so Petey wants us to deliver this package to Beatrice. Beatrice is the girl of the nerd clique, so she's probably either at the library or at the girl's dorm. In this case, she's at the girl's dorm, which is just across the way. So we'll just head right on over. Ah, uh, there she is. Much obliged. That's it. All right, another five bucks. We'll have more errands in the future, but for now, let's head into the girls' dorm for our next mission. Give it back. Or what? Or well, just give it back. Are you threatening <sighs> me, Metal Mouth? No, I just just. Give it back! You can't just steal things from me! <laughs> Unfortunately for you, my pig ugly friend, that is exactly what I can do. In fact, I can do anything I like in this place. Anything at all. Ciao, Spotty. Give it back! And you should stay out of the girl's dorm, you little perv. Ugh, I see you undressing me with your eyes, sicko. You wish. Please, will you help me? Do I have to? Yes. It's vital. She's stolen my lab notes. Without them, I'm gonna fail chemistry and I'll never get into med school. Now I won't find the cure for cancer. Basically, the future of the whole world rests on those notes. What's in it for me? Well, if you get them back, I'll... I'll kiss you. Oh, uh, that's okay. Oh, well, okay, but if you don't, I'll tell the whole school you're some kind of sad sicko who spies on girls getting changed in their dorm. Relax. One set of lab notes coming up. Hey, Gary, I need to get something from Mandy's locker. I'm not surprised. You know, you should put a stink bomb in there. It'd be funny. Get one from Fatty. He knows everything about stinking. Now, that almost made Gary seem helpful, but really his advice doesn't really help you get into Mandy's locker any easier. It just allows you to pull a prank on her. Anyway, we're gonna go meet Fatty, who has a very unfortunate nickname. Or maybe that's his real name. I don't really know, because he's always called Fatty in the game. Anyway, he's a member of the Nerd Click and at the library at the moment. Alright, I'm gonna do a positive interaction with him. I will serve in return for a suitable reward. For you, my friend. For you. And just give him a buck and get the stink bombs. And thus our transaction concludes. Now I do have the option of doing a negative response with him as well. Where I basically threaten him, then beat him up, and then steal the stink bombs. But really, Jimmy's not that type of kid. Superior. Or, I'm not that type of player. Like that. Ultimately, this game is about choices and what you want to do. Anyway, let's head into the gym. Right down these stairs are the changing rooms. To the left is the boys' changing rooms, which is where you'll go to start gym class. On the right are the girls' changing rooms and Mandy's locker. Oh, we've been spotted, so we gotta hide real quick, because that girl's gonna run off and call a prefect. I can't do a That's kind of 
pointing. And Jimmy's really not supposed to be here. You can see the prefix slowly coming on the mini-map as the red dot. And he can't see it. You can see either Jimmy is a master of disguise in that trash can, or the prefix is just kind of stupid. One or the other. Alright, now we can pick up Mandy's locker. Just like the lock earlier. Oops, I spun that a little too quickly. Do it a little slower this time. I'll be right there. Just have to get something from my locker. Oh, Mandy's coming. I better go hide. It's kind of weird that basically you're doing this because Beatrice threatened to say that you're a peeping Tom that looked at girls changing their dorms. And now you're an actual peeping Tom hiding in the girls changing room. Looks like Mandy's going to be busy for a bit, so we're going to head back to Beatrice. There's the swimming pool, completely empty. Beatrice is back at the girls' dorm, and I think you guys know the school's layout by now, so I'm going to skip right to her. Just like the shortcut to the boys' dorm, there's also a shortcut to the girls' dorm. Here you go. Oh, Jimmy, thank you. You're wonderful. Hey. Oh, that's nice. She likes you now. Exactly as I'd expected. My work here is done. Now that she likes you, let's get her some things. She probably likes flowers, right? I got this for you. I can't believe it. I haven't received a gift like this ever. So after giving her a gift, you can kiss her now. You're amazing. You know that. Thank you for being my partner for this, uh, project. So getting kissed by a girl restores your health. It's a little weird that girls are basically mobile health stations, but whatever. You are violating your academic contract. Anyway, I think we have enough time to head to gym class. This game doesn't do partial classes, so even having a little bit of time left is enough to do a full class. So we'll head back to the changing rooms from earlier and just start gym class. It's time for some wrestling instruction. This rule will require physical contact between you and your opponent. Don't any of you enjoy it? All right, we're going to learn some new moves. Unfortunately, we're practicing on Fatty, who we just bought the stink bombs from. Let's grab. My tender soul. And headbutt. Okay. Oh. My tender soul. Is he enough? We just hold down X. Please, I am nervous. Such a girl. I love the sound of boys hurting each other. That's the new combo we're supposed to learn. Do something. My mom still thinks I'm a winner. That's better, Hopkins. I shall Let's do it again. You don't want to do something, My style Hopkins. Is contagious. Now it seems like you only learned two moves. You actually learned three. All right, boys. Because you first learn grab and headbutt. So hold down X. Because you also learned grab. Tap once, hold down, which is a gut punch. And of course, the third move was punch, punch, hold. Well, no, that's not it. It's supposed to be punch, punch, knee them in the head. Did you notice that the redhead and the Asian cheerleader were both duplicates? They're on both sides. Kind of weird. Alright, so you might have noticed that it's past 7 o'clock. I skipped ahead a little because certain missions only unlock at night. And now I'm gonna do a night mission for Beatrice. <laughs> hey, Beatrice, what's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. What? Ew, gross. Secondly, Mr. Hatrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's gonna give it to the principal tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. Makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, 
First, you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is gonna know about. We're like doomed lovers. Enough, okay, I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over. Oh, that's hot. Definitely want to hear that. All right, so for this mission, we're breaking into the school at night. We're going to climb through a back window. I really love bunnies. So nice. Now, normally the school's not locked at night, but for this mission, I guess they decided to make it a little harder. We're just going to jump up here and then climb up this support thing. I guess it's for plants or something. And there's a little collectible right here. It's a G and G card. All right. Just like D and D, except not. And this bug occasionally happens. I'm not sure why. Okay, so we want to get to the math room, but we don't want to be spotted by the prefix. Those lockers that we know we can hide in would be very useful. We just have to make sure we're trying to hide in the right type of lock. Since the ones with the red icons are locked and thus a lot less useful for hiding in. All right, let's go in here. Nope, it's locked, so we can't go in here. We gotta go downstairs to the staff room. I know it's downstairs because the icon's a triangle, which means it's on a different floor, specifically the floor below us. It's perfect. Uh-oh, uh-oh, one of them sees me. They see me. Can they get me? No, they can't get me. And I don't even need to hide or apologize, because I can just run through this door. Here we are. Let's see what we got. This new Jimmy boy is so bad. Bad teeth, bad hair, bad smell, and bad attitude. And yet, there's something about him that's so alluring. Good God, Beatrice. Oh, and she told Bucky about her feelings. Oh, poor Bucky. It looks like he's been friend-zoned. We're sorry, Bucky. We don't even know you yet. But it looks like we cock-blocked you. Well, I guess I shouldn't say cock-block. Though, I guess they are 15. So he could be cock-blocking. Anyway. <laughs> Look at this. The whole thought of us making sweet organic chemistry just sends shivers down my spine. Damn, Beatrice. You very creative, girl. Anyway, let's get this back to her, and hopefully forget about it. Now that we pretty much have what we came for, we really don't need to sneak around anymore. Just run straight out. Hopkins, get out here. Right. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Don't mind me. I'm out, I'm out. <sighs> He's still chasing. All right, I'll take a shortcut real quick. Here's Beatrice. Did you get it? Yes, I did. And I didn't read it. Much. Much obliged. I hope it gets easier. All right. All right. It's pretty late now, so we probably should go to sleep. Today was another great day. Jimmy made some money. Made some friends. Made a new girlfriend. Not bad for a new kid on the second day of school. We'll see what happens tomorrow next episode. Until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.